Yeah, go ahead. I saved an armchair for you. So let me just tell you about Pat Howard, Linda Green, and Leslie and Pavling, and I hope I'm saying names all right. And thanks to Joe Wood, who or helps organize everything. Uh, the Ottawa Raging Grannies, if you don't know who they are, they're a group of women that sing and write uh, satirical protest songs, and they wear outrageous hats and old-fashioned clothing. Why? Because they want to leave a better world for their children and grandchildren. And uh, one of the questions that I was wondering now, you don't look very angry or <laughs> raging to me. <coughs> so why do you think satire works so well for you is sort of the question I want to see if I can answer. And please grace us with one of your songs. So Raging Rannies. <laughs> Songs won't do it. So um, that's the reason for satire. Um, and besides, we look funny. So um, <laughs> and the reason we look funny is to make us visible. Because older women are invisible. And also, they can't, nobody hears them either. Nobody listens to older women. And uh, so, in order to be heard, we uh, protest in song. The, the Raging Grannies began in 1987, believe it or not, in Victoria, BC, where there were a group of older women who wanted to say something. They wanted to protest about uh, the, the American warships, nuclear armed, that were coming into Esqu Esquimalt, and uh, doing maneuvers in Nanu's Bay. And they knew they wouldn't be listened to, they wouldn't be looked at. So they dressed in outlandish clothes in order to be seen, and in order to be heard, they wrote songs. And that's what it has continued until now. Uh, there are many, many groups of Raging Grannies in Canada and in the United States and in Europe and in Australia and the UK. But it all began in Canada. It's a Canadian phenomenon and uh, started in BC in uh, 1987. The Raging Grannies uh, group here in Ottawa started in 1989. We were the second group to form. So, carrying on the tradition, um, our first song is uh, the Gotta Go song. Yes, and the Gotta Go song was uh, written for the Gotta Go group in Calgary, in Calgary, Ottawa, who are, yeah, I came from She's Calgary, from Calgary. <laughs> yeah. uh, who, who are, are attempting to get public washrooms in public places. And of course, we have a vested interest in this being little old ladies, right? But there are many other groups who are, are um, needing public washrooms. I see a little girl over there that probably wants to go to her washroom every in, at the most inconvenient times. So, so far, we've, uh, we've been supporting the Gotta Go group. Uh, we've written a song. We've sang that song in council chambers uh, where, where we hopefully had a, played a small role in persuading the members of our 
municipal government to install public washrooms in at least Herdman and Bayview, the new LRT station. So, that's a worthy cause, and we hope that everyone is listening. So, shall we? Yeah, I just want to mention that this, uh, the tune we used, we, we borrow tunes, right? We're not, we don't compose. Um, we borrowed the tune uh, uh, from a song by Tom Lehrer, who wrote a lot of satirical songs, uh, many anti-war songs. Uh, one uh, against nuclear war, which was called, uh, we all, we'll all go together when we go. But this particular tune uh, was, uh, uh, Be Prepared and it's the Boy Scouts marching song. But that is the tune we used. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta go. No use telling me to wait when I know that it soon will be too late. Gotta find the nearest possible depot. Can't just tell my personal river not to flow. Gotta go. Whether pee or dreaded poo, where to go? When the world is watching you, it isn't just the tourists who must find a better way. Though Ottawa's the capital, we live here every day. If you build it, we will come and live so long. Gotta go. Need to pee. When we take the LRT, it's the key. In the park and ride, you see, our city will step up and lead the line. When we see the handy toilet on the side, it's not smart to put the horse behind the cart. Have a heart, so we know before we start, building great attractions and a transportation line. Without the comfort stations that most civil safety find, it's an urgency, emergency, you see. <laughs> Gotta be. Thank you so much. What's up? For which place?